computer. Morning, everyone. My name is Tony Kokmo, president of Expert Elite World and also president of the DFW BIM Infrastructure Peace Group. So thank you for joining us today. Today we have Kavanch. Um, he's our guest speaker. And Kavanch, can you take it away? Kind of introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So hi, everyone. I'm Kavanch Kazildemir, um, founding partner of Codel, and I'm a vegan, uh, a husband, a big brother of two sisters, <laughs> <laughs> etc. Yeah, I'm a mechanical engineer. Okay. And now um, we're working on the design automation um, process mm -hmm. uh, with, with my company. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, it's time to automate something mm -hmm. which is related with the design. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we're working on generally design automation and sales automation mm -hmm. by using uh, inventory APIs. Etc. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And where are you located? Everybody knows where you're calling from. Yeah, I live in Izmir, Turkey. Okay. Uh, it's on the uh, west coast of Turkey. Okay. Cool. So it's it's too hot to be here <laughs> now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's probably probably similar to Texas. Maybe we've been in a you know. Uh, high 90s and 100s here in Texas. So I'm in Texas, so I don't know if it's that hot or hotter over there. I think it's 92 Fahrenheit degrees yeah. in here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's about the same. Really yeah, it's about, oh, yeah. <laughs> about the same. So when did you get started using uh, Autodesk products? You remember how, you know, when you first started using it and how were you using it at that time? Yeah. I think uh, I've used, I started to use um, my first uh, Autodesk software in 20, 2011 okay. uh, for my, for my yeah, uh, undergraduate lesson. Mm -hmm. So I was working on a project, mm -hmm. uh, working on a design project. Yeah. And yeah, I've started to use Autodesk Inventor. Oh, okay. Since, yeah, 2011. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, so have you used any other products other than Inventor since then? Yeah, sure. Then um, I've used, I start to use, uh, use um, AutoCAD. Okay. And um, we're now using uh, some uh, Revit, for, uh, we're, we're using Revit uh, yeah. software. And, um, for simulation, we are using uh, Inventor Nastra, okay. um, Autodesk CFT product. Okay. So, yeah, these are the Autodesk softwares. Yeah. There are lots of softwares. Yep. Uh, out out of the software uh, Autodesk softwares. Yep. Um, for for example, I'm uh, I'm using Ansys Fluent, Ansys Mechanical. Yeah. Console software for CFT, etc. Okay. Cool. Cool. So using Revit, you said you're using Revit and you use Inventor. Which one's harder to learn, the Revit or the Inventor? Uh, I think they're pretty similar to pretty learn. Similar. Yeah. Um, I think the, the engineering perspective is the same yeah. with, uh, with the Inventor and yeah. uh, Revit. We are using uh, their APIs okay. to connect uh, the environment, mm -hmm. uh, environments, uh, except the, uh, the Autodesk softwares. For example, we, we are connecting, okay. you know, uh, Inventor to the ERP system or uh, CRM system. And also we are working with Revit yeah. uh, in the same manner. Yeah. So when you, when you were learning uh, Inventor for the first time, you know, um, did you have more I guess training afterwards when you were, I guess you were in class, right? You were doing it during class. Is that what I heard you? Did you yeah. take more classes after that? Um, it was not an official um, lesson okay. about Autodesk Inventor, mm -hmm. but uh, I've learned, uh, I've learned it by myself. 
Okay. So yeah, I just follow the basic in instructions. Yeah. So I, I start to learn Inventor and uh, build up again and again uh, yeah. some designs and yeah, uh, it develops uh, itself. Yep. Because self training. Uh, yeah, self training. Because yeah, you know your need. Yeah. Uh, you know uh, your vision, your perspective. Yeah. So. Um, when 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 you fo focus uh, on the software, yeah, uh, you can find find it out mm -hmm. to solve the problems. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, okay. it's still yeah. the same. Yeah, it's still the same for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I was self taught. I took one class. I'm on the engineering side, civil side. So I took civil 3D class. I took one class, and then every day after that. I would do self training during lunch. I'd watch, you know, read a blog or watch a video just every day. And that's how I learned. And then probably every other day at home, I would just play with the software file for an hour or two and just kind of play around. What does this button do? And go to the help menu. Okay. 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 Understand. And I didn't go to the forums that much. Uh, I was always reading people's blogs. And then, um, uh, at that time, YouTube wasn't around when I when civil 3d first came out. So there was, maybe one blog or two blogs out there. And that was it. And this is 1990, 2001. So this is 2001. So civil 30 came out 2004, you know, so there wasn't that many blogs out there, you know, so, uh, and cool. so we had to call tech support all the time say, Hey, you know, I, I can't, I don't understand how this works. You know, there wasn't that much information out there at the time. So, um, but um, um, are you doing any kind of like VR right now? Yeah, um, we're developing some um, VR products. Okay. Um, to to build um, to build a VR configurators yeah. or uh, you know uh, series games or simulations okay. yeah. for our customers. Cool. Um, we are using um, Unity products, Unity okay. game engine. Yep. yep. Yeah, uh, this is um, you know um, some. There, there are some pros uh, yeah. when you compare the the other game yeah. engines. Yeah. Uh, if you are using Unity, yeah, that's yeah. why we are using Unity, and we are also uh, we are also um, channel partner of Unity and a authorized learning partner. Okay. As Codeo. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I was actually, you know, changing the subject a little bit. I love learn about new technology that's out there. Not just not not just Autodesk, but I was like, what's what else is out there? And I actually ran into another software called uh, Modumate. It's a three D modeling software, and I've been playing with it. And I was like, this is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you've seen it, uh, so uh, it's pretty no. new. It's called Modumate. Yeah, go check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, okay. Oh. Um, let's see. So, how long have you been in industry now? So, two thousand eleven. Um. It's a long story because okay. um, I've start I started my uh, undergraduate uh, education in yeah. uh, 20, um, 2000, 2004. Okay. Uh, so um, then I start to play in a band, okay. music band. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> then uh, I left my school temporarily. Yeah. Yeah. Then um, I. I was professional um, musician. Okay. I was playing woodwinds. Okay. All kind of woodwinds. Okay. And trumpet also. Oh wow! Yeah. Then um, yeah, you know the. Um, I I I decided to I I decided to return my uh, undergraduate lessons. Then yeah. uh, decided to finish uh, my undergraduate. Yeah. And I did it. Then. Um, yeah, I graduated uh, in 2012. Okay. Then, yeah, I started to work um, about different industries. Okay. Yeah, this is my story. Um, <laughs> That's good. Life is a journey. You know? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah so life is a Probably journey. Agree. Yeah. I started, um, I, 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 I worked for different uh, industries. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been. Uh, I have a chance to be a 
in a great in, in great projects okay uh, which uh, which are the um, the first attempt to build something because uh, I've designed it and uh, an underground mining loader uh, oh, okay. in my first job yeah then um, yeah I was a chef engineer I, I became a chef engineer in two years oh wow then yeah Impressive. Um, yeah uh, I've uh, I, I complete to uh, to to sorry um, uh, we, we, achieve, we achieve to um, earn a CE certification in okay. my project. I designed the uh, whole, um, you know, machine, yeah. and then um, follow the manufacturing side, okay. and then uh, follow the uh, certification side. Okay. Then uh, I I left my job. <laughs> okay. And go another industry yeah. work for uh, designing um, robots. Yeah. Then um, I, I I work for I work for after after that job I I uh, I, I designed powder transfer systems and uh, I designed powder coating pump, which is the uh, high which has the highest capacity in the world. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is the um, career of my okay. life. Yeah, yeah. I, I, let's you know it, everybody's got a really good, interesting life story and their journey going from A to B. You know, so um, so have you been to Autodesk University? Have you had the opportunity to go? What do you think about the first time you you went? What was it like going for the first time? Which one did you go to? Because I know there's more than one. There's the Vegas. There's ones in different countries. Which one did you go to? Yeah, the first one uh, was in, uh, I think, 2016. Uh, it was in Istanbul, Autodesk okay. University, Istanbul. Yeah. Um, we we have uh, we we had a um, you know hands-on class, hands-on mm -hmm. lab yeah. uh, on. Uh, on this event, mm -hmm. this this was uh, my first AU experience. Then, okay. uh, one year la later, um, I and my business partner yeah. Paul Guy, you I think you know, yeah. you know him, yeah. Um, we 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 was accepted for um, Vegas 2017. Okay, but. Uh, we couldn't go there because uh, there were political issues between USA and Turkey, and yeah. we couldn't apply uh, the visa. Uh, so that's why we, we couldn't go there. But okay. uh, you know, I think you know uh, John Boldy. John Boldy uh, presented our presentation, our okay. uh, hands-on lab yeah. in Ve Vegas. Yeah. Then yeah, um, and the second one. The, the third one uh, is in was in London, okay. uh, London, twenty nineteen. Okay. Um, it it was also uh, a design automation class. Okay. Then uh, the last AU. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the <it> digital. Was, <laughs> yeah, it was uh, AU uh, Middle East twenty nineteen. It okay. was the last real au <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah real yeah i've been there uh, with the cft class yeah was there a lot of people at that one um yeah people uh, yeah uh, the event was uh, pretty uh, pretty crowded but yeah 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 the um this the, yeah this was the uh, last one mm -hmm. last real uh, au yeah so yeah when I look 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 at the uh, past, yeah, mm -hmm. I think um, I don't know. In one or two years later, uh, we hope to be oh in yeah real AUs. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. exactly. I think everyone misses that interaction with each other, the networking, the collaboration. Um, you know, taking all these classes, it's not the same online at all. It's night and day. Yeah. 
you know, yeah, right. so, uh, and I used to go up, I've, I've been about six times, maybe seven times. And my first one, I think was around 2012. I think it's the first one I went to. So it was an eye opener to see that many people, architects, engineers, 3D modelers, um, CAD and BIM managers, um, um, some company owners, small company owners there, or classes for that. But the cool thing was just the interaction with other you know, design professionals from other countries. And then I would network with them and say, hey, what do you use? And sometimes it wasn't Autodesk product. They were using Autodesk in conjunction with another software, you know, working together to complete the task. Um, so it could have been, uh, it could have been some Esri, could have been you know, Bentley. Um, there, there's many other softwares out there that sometimes we don't even hear about because it's only popular in those countries or that side of the world. You know, so I'm always interested in, hey, what are you using over there? You know, I want to know, you know, could it That's save good. me time on my design? You know, so I'm always interested in, in looking at things. So um, when I work on projects, sometimes it's I've used three different products to complete the task. You know, so whatever you have to do to complete the task. So, um, yeah, but uh, um, I see you got a vegan shirt here. So can you explain that? Is that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I and my wife. Yeah. Uh, we're we're vegan. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. Cool. Uh, that's cool. why I, I want to show. Yeah. Who who I am. Yeah. Who <laughs> who we are. Yeah. Is, yeah. is there a company or particular company or a local restaurant or something or anything that y'all follow? No. No, it's just a shirt. Just a shirt. A, okay. Just a, yeah. Just an just okay. an icon. I wasn't quite sure if it was a company. Maybe online you order certain. You know. So. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Uh, but. Uh, um, you know, you know, I'm I'm a big like uh, and football fan, so I, I like to watch the, not the soccer, but the, the actual football <laughs> here in America. <laughs> so uh, uh, I'm a big Notre Dame fan, so I watch them a lot. So um, and then if I'm on home during my free time, I'm on YouTube trying to learn new software. I'm I, I'm trying to be like a sponge, learn new things. So okay, so um, quick question. So if you had more time, if there was an extra day in, 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 in your world, what software would you try to learn or would you want to learn? Um, yeah, personally, um, I got this question yeah. uh, about uh, my business career. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, because there are lots of things yep. uh, that should be learned yeah. uh, in, in, in the life. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, for for the business pers perspective, yeah, I um, uh, I should I should learn uh, AI process AI programming. Okay. Um, because yeah, we have an engineering team. Um, they're using AI, mm -hmm. but uh, not but not me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm I'm a little bit jealous. Uh, about them that's why <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's why yeah um i think if if i have more time mm -hmm. yeah uh, i will learn ai yeah. programming okay okay yeah um so what current version of software are you currently using at god's office you know out of those products is it 20 21 22 um yeah for 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 our business, we are mm -hmm. using um, several uh, versions of uh, software okay. together. Yeah, because uh, we are also developing uh, OEM products. For okay. example, we are using Inventor OEM. Okay. Um, we are customizing in uh, Inventor environment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for a specific in industry. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. For example, that's why we are using. Uh, inventor 2021 okay but um, in a different part of our work we are okay. using uh, 2022 because <laughs> our customer uh, yeah. our customers are working with that product yeah that's why yeah, yeah you know <laughs> we're uh, developing third party uh, softwares yeah uh, for them that's why we have to use um, that version yeah um, I have to have as a consultant, I have a, my own company, training consulting company, a tech support company, uh, Civil Cat Learning Solutions. So I have five different versions of this 
four products on my computer. So that takes up a lot of space. Uh, it's like having the whole AEC collection on your computer, but having all five versions. So I go back Probably. as far as 2017. Uh, I mean, I'm already taking up uh, 50 gigs just installing those products, you know, um, but uh, actually more than that. But I go back as far as 17, and then I got another laptop that goes far as 16. But sometimes I have clients will call me up and say, hey, I have AutoCAD 2009. I'm like, whoa, you're going way back. <laughs> and I try my best wow. to help them. I, I know what the interface looks like. I still remember <laughs> interface before it jumped to the ribbon. Uh, if you ever use AutoCAD, you know, they had the old classic toolbars, um, a lot of pull-down menus and stuff. And then 20, when they had the 2010 release, the whole ribbon change, the whole interface change. So, but no, I still every now and then get customers, you know, 2009, 2012. And, you know, that's the difficult part is remembering what each version had on the product. You know, there's been a lot of add-ins, a lot of improvements, a lot of updates. And we try to keep up as best as possible of what was added to that version. Because sometimes I'll say, oh yeah, click on here. And like, there's no button there. Like, oh yeah, it wasn't there in 2012. <laughs> so, funny. To be honest, we're not feeling the ribbon chains, button chains, or yeah. another UI chains okay. uh, so dramatically because we're just coding. Yeah. And we're we're doing our tests with coding. Yeah. Running codes. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's very uh, straightforward way <laughs> to run the software. <laughs> you know. Oh man, I took a coding class. I just. I, I guess I didn't pay attention enough. I thought the first few, like the first month, I thought, oh, this is easy. I really don't need to pay attention. I mean, this is, and then I got fell behind real quick, you know, really quick when you're not paying attention, learning coding for the first time and how important spaces and periods are. And so, uh, but uh, I ended up just dropping the class, but that's something on my bucket list. I try to go back and just get the basics of coding. Um, so, um, I have a guy here in my office. He does a lot of coding and sometimes he shows me, but it's just, it's just way over, over my head because he's doing some advanced coding. He's, he's creating his custom apps for his company and he'll talk to me about it, but it just, it's way over my head. Yeah. <laughs> I just pretend like I understand what he's saying. It's like, oh yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. <laughs> but I have no clue what he's talking about, what aspects of the coding <laughs> he's talking about, you know, and you know, uh, what version of software, all that stuff that he's using the program. And so uh, not version, just what part of programming he's using. So if it's C++ or something else, you know, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Um, but uh, yeah. so where do you, where do you think, you know, where would you want Autodesk products to be in 10 years? You know, if you had it your way and you can steer it in your path, where would you want it to be in 10 years? Yeah, um, that's a good question, but um, there, I think um, the the everything uh, are going to the online. So yeah. that's why uh, the forge environment mm -hmm. um, will will have all the uh, sub programs, sub, mm -hmm. sub softwares yeah. uh, under under it. So that's why um, in 10 years, um, we will be talking about the uh, softwares, mm -hmm. which are completely uh, running on our browsers. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, this is, this is not, um, this is not a, this is an elephant in our yeah. room. Yeah, yeah, you know, in the room, because um, uh, we are developing the uh, softwares uh, which runs on the browsers. Yeah. So uh, we can we can you know imagine that. Yeah. Uh, all the softwares can run on the browsers. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. rent um, uh, you you rent a, a remote computer, yep. remote yep. PC, and yep. then um, open open a software and then do your job. Yeah. Then close it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think eventually yeah, everyone will convert to cloud storage or you think people will just have internal servers at some point? Yeah, I think um, some industries will be needing um, some sort of local, um, local, you know, um, storage because 
um, you know, for example, military projects yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. are, yeah, should should be restricted. Yep. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. I was in the military and they were very strict about that. And there's no way things are going off base or cloud or anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think this sort of um, industries will need, will totally need yeah. the local uh, servers. But yeah. um, the, 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 whole, um, the whole industries, except these ones, um, can run their software or their projects on online. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So is there a tip? Um, I want to see if you have time to share tips and tricks, one or two on one of your softwares. If you'd like to share your screen, maybe show, you know, give some industry insights and some software tips. Yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you um, to to achieve a design automate design automation. Um, programmer to, to be a, a design automation programmer. So okay. uh, I, I'll show you where you should start from. Okay. Just you should be able to share. Yep. Yeah, sure. I'll share my screen now. Okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah, okay, I can see it. Yeah, cool. You can start coding yeah. by just manipulating some um, pre-generated um, codes. Okay. That's why, yeah, you can easily see um, what's going on when you're coding. For example, let's open this part up. Yeah, you can uh, see programming API help mm -hmm. from here, go through the programming API help. And there is a, there is a, you know, title, sample programs title under the context, contents tab. Okay. Yeah, these are the sample codes. Oh wow! I think um, in in every in in all industries, in all engineers working uh, all sort of industries uh, will uh, um, will need that that sort of code samples. Um, for example, let's see the general tab. Let's look at the general. Um, subtitle and yeah, let's see the dried camera. Yeah, this is a VBA code that works on the inventor. I just copy and open the VBA editor up and insert the module, then paste the code here. So yeah. We don't okay. need this browser. Yeah. Let's see the home view. Yeah. Just click run and the code runs. Yeah. Cool. Okay. That's simple to yeah. rotate. Yeah. To rotate it uh, the opposite uh, to the opposite direction. You just need this edit, then click play button and it plays. Then we can play with the map. Yeah. We can, you know, these are the trigonometric uh, functions. Okay. So let's see when we change sin, sine fun function with the tan tangent function. Yeah. It works in a different path. Okay, cool. So um, we can change, for example, the um, I vectors direction. These are the unit vectors. Let's see 
what will happen. Yeah, it completely changed the path. Oh, wow. Okay. No, that's pretty cool. You can just do that. Yes. Yeah. It's so simple. You can yeah. set the steps, number of steps. You can set the um, this eye distance. You can set the, you know, the um, camera rotation okay. path by just um, just adding some math just here. Okay. And then it runs for you. You can you can create some you know some kind of demonstrations uh, on your um, on your inventor software. Okay. By just using this code, just this snippet. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's a fast track to start coding yeah. an inventor. Yeah. Huh. I don't think our software that we use, you know, has a feature like that where I can, I have to look, you can just change some coding and modify the, the model. You know, the only three <laughs> models we have is maybe the surface terrain of outside of a building. Uh, and then the utility pipes underneath the ground for water, sewer, storm. Uh, those are the only really three 3D model aspects we have. Um, and I do a lot of site grading. So I'm always looking at my grading and 3D model and stuff. But I do a lot of piping too. Um, but yeah. I have to look and see, you know, the visual basics, you know, um, look into that and see how I can learn a few things in here. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, it's extremely easy to learn to coding on Inventor because there are lots of uh, AU classes about the coding. Um, Inventor has a specific language to, uh, to code, which, which name is iLogic. Okay. So um, people can use uh, iLogic to program uh, their, their models to automate their uh, repetitive tasks or uh, to, to automate drawing creation. Uh, iLogic is a powerful tool for, for beginners. Okay. But we are using um, C, C sharp language, um, coding language, and okay. we are using uh, Visual Studio to code the inventor. We are, um, we are creating softwares. I can show you um, an extreme example of design automation. Okay. Yeah. This is AutoCase 3D product. We built it. We built uh, this product uh, this year. Okay. And this is this is an inventor. Okay. But this is not an inventor. You know, okay. it has uh, it has its own. Um, menus, its yeah. own color, it's, yeah, everything is um, different from inventors standard man menus. Yeah, people can um, start a new project, let's say Tony's project. Oh. We can't use that one. I like the color, the blue and the gray. Yeah, great combination. Yep. And when you open the project, mm -hmm. you can select the hardwares, the aluminum, prof aluminum profiles, the hardwares uh, to be placed on the model. Okay. And you can customize all the user interaction you can customize the ribbon bar. You okay. can create your custom um, commands. You can create your custom features uh, to add inventor. Okay. Uh, you can customize um, all the inventor uh, commands to your specific industry. Okay. So this is a this is for case flight case manufacturers. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. You can see the anchor points. Oh, okay. And 
yeah. You can drag and dro drop. You can snap the mid, uh, mid planes. So it just snapped to the face of the, the box? Yeah, sure. And you can uh, move the, um, this is a client graphic. This is a client graphic, we call it. Okay. And you can use these buttons for both vertical and horizontal. Okay. Yeah. Then you can you can enter enter cust totally custom values okay. from here. Yeah, you can build that sort of in, um, software mm -hmm. on your inventor. This is an inventor product. Okay. Originally, we are uh, we are OEM partner of uh, inventor. That's okay. why we have rights to modify and sell this this sort of okay. um, products. Yeah, this is a sample. So um, you can export uh, DXF files, which will use uh, will be used for uh, you know manufacturing. You yep. can um, see the bill of materials of let's see the extrusion cut lists. Okay. Yeah, this is all uh, done by programming inventor environment by okay. using uh, Visual Studio. .NET, uh, you can use uh, .NET uh, language. Uh, you can use Visual Basic or uh, C Sharp language to program that uh, that environment. Yeah, all the um, aluminum profiles are calculating by the software, and then yeah, these are the um, cut details and length details about. Uh, uh, of each uh, frame members, yeah. Okay, cool. That's cool. That's cool. And I see uh, there's an export to D uh, DXF, so I'm familiar with that file format. Yes. We use it every once in a while in Civil 3D. Yeah, it's now completed, and I can show, for example, base front base panel. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is. We'll see the cutout profile okay. of the, um, you know, hardware. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's that's really cool. Yeah. So really yeah, cool. this yeah. is what we're like learning. I'll, I'll have to go check it out and go to your website and check it out. I like looking in new products and, you know, um, I. I um, Augie is a magazine that's been around for 20 years uh, here in the United States. And I think what's well, Augie International, but, you know, they're now writing articles about software, you know, not just Autodesk products no more. Now it's open to all software. And so yeah. uh, if you're interested, you know, if you want to write an article about it, you know, we can publish it to Augie if you're interested. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Um, it would be great. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Okay. So. Are you part of, you know, change is kind of getting more personal about people understanding who you are. Uh, are yeah. you part of any kind of local organizations, committees, you know, charity groups and stuff here in your, your community or your area? Um, yes. Um, you know, um, we are dealing with uh, a great, I think it was the greatest one that I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Um we're dealing with the wildfires in Turkey and Greece. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah. I think Greece, um, the, the, the wildfires in Greece mm -hmm. are worse, 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 uh, worse than, than, than we have. Okay. And yeah, this is, this is a must for us to, um, you know, to, to be a part of this sort of uh, communities. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we are now becoming part of, um, you know, um, civil, uh, civil organization okay. of um, that, that sort of, um, you know, um, natural disasters. Okay. Um, um, we, I, I'm, I'm becoming a part, I'm become part of a AHPAP group. This is okay. a part, uh, this is a, this is a charity group. Okay. Um, um, yeah. 
and we we have Afat in Turkey, okay, um, which organizes the um, you know uh, the people to fight against the um, natural disasters because we are having earthquakes mm -hmm. in this geography, Greece and Turkey, and yeah, we are uh, we have one or two uh, bigger uh, earthquakes in a year. Yeah. Uh, so this is crazy. And now we're, we're fighting against the uh, wildfires. Yeah. Uh, nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It, it's tough. I know like here in, in the States, California is always fighting wildfires all the time. Every time you turn on the news, there's a wildfire in California. I think Australia uh, always has wildfires. Yeah. We don't really have, even though we have desert, we have some hot areas in Texas. We really don't fight well we don't have wildfires for some reason i don't know why <laughs> you know half our state's green and the other half is desert yeah you know, pretty much so uh but we we face more um tornadoes and um flooding so we get a lot of rain and it floods a lot and then we have turn i live in tornado alley so tornadoes always come down south so when there's thunderstorms there's always tornadoes um and which always destroy stuff so that's what we always have to face the flooding and the tornadoes um, and then uh, I'm too far up north for any kind of hurricanes. It'll hit the, the Gulf of Texas, but Texas is so big that it, you know, it'll be a, a whole day before it tries to get up north to Dallas area. So uh, we, we just get hard rain afterwards and then the flooding. So, but uh, well, no, that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, are you planning to, hopefully, hopefully when AU opens up, are you planning to go back and maybe teach a class in maybe 2022? <laughs> Yeah, um, I I have a class in 2021. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So, yeah. What's that class yeah. so people can look it up and uh, when they watch the video? What's the name yeah. of that? Um, I don't know the exact name of uh, the the class because um, okay. we, are, we are, I am a part of this class. Okay. And, you know, um, Natalia, I think uh, maybe you know, he, her and Natalia Polikar, uh, okay. Polikarpova will be MC of this class. Okay. It will be an, an industry uh, industry uh, talk format. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, I think, yeah. Uh, v and another um, another company, software company, works uh, working with uh, Forge environment. Okay. Um, will be there. And we we'll, we will present our uh, okay. Ford solutions okay. um, to to widen the uh, soft, uh, the the company man manager's vision. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, it it is uh, at uh, October twelfth. Uh, I think it's um, eleven thirty. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll look it up and I'll post it down here on, on the video. So um, so what are some hobbies of yours? You know, people understand what do you do for, during your free time? You know, I know a lot of people are doing stuff with their kids. Some of their kids are on Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts or, or the kids play sports or, you know, you do painting or, or music. You know, everybody's got a different hobby. So what's your hobbies? Yeah, you, you know one of them. Yeah. Uh, it's music. Yeah. And um, I think um, the uh, the other one is um, searching for ancient cities. Uh, we visit ancient cities of Turkey. Okay. Uh, because there are lots of uh, ancient cities. It's yeah. about uh, it's about I think two hundred more than two hundred uh, ancient cities in Turkey. Oh wow! Um, yeah, and their ancient uh, Greek civilization. Yeah. And yeah, we are, uh, I and my wife, Yeah. Uh, we're uh, enthusiastic about uh, seeing these um, ancient cities. Yeah. And we are searching for the um, engineering buildings because okay. there are lots of um, ancient buildings. Okay. Uh, like stadiums, stadiums, uh, great theaters okay. um, for I think uh, 12 sorry um, 
um, 20,000 people uh, can sit uh, in in the wow. the theaters wow. and more than uh, more than that number mm -hmm. uh, people can uh, sit these um, stadiums mm -hmm. um, yeah they're they're totally preserved yeah uh, well wow. preserved so um yeah it's great to see the people yeah um uh, that uh, they build they they built these buildings before yeah. uh 2000 years ago yeah so it's great to see their uh you know techniques yep. learn their techniques and see yeah. how then how they built these uh Building structures, yeah, so so great with you know, simple tools. <laughs> yeah, simple tools, but um, maybe I think uh, they they know how to uh, how to cut um, stones, how to stones, cut yeah. rocks, and yeah, that's marble. what's fascinating how they, they cut the stones back then. Yeah, and, and just... they're they're all marble masters. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, is, I like watching is... uh going to YouTube and going to like the uh, National Geographic or National uh, or uh, Discovery Channel, and when they post new civilizations all over the part of the world, when they hey we discover something in a different country, and they'll post it. I think that's always fascinating. You know, just recently they posted about they've discovered a frozen lion cub that was twenty eight thousand years old. You know, based on the ice around, and like whoa. That's 28,000 years ago, and they found this frozen baby cub. But then you'll, oh. you'll find something you know, in a different country. It's a, uh, maybe a, a tomb or something. And they say, oh, this tomb is you know, 5,000 years old. And it just kind of blows your mind when every time they, they, they discover something. you know. Um, and I always find it fascinating. I like going to the Discovery Channel and National Geographic when they discover new things. It's, it's, it's yeah. really cool. From my point of view, this is not for only the buildings because yep. uh, it's it's also uh, about the lifestyle of the people who yep. lived uh, in in the ancient time yeah because you can see the uh, the numbers uh, the, the 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 numbers of seats when you go the stadium yeah so uh, you can see the some notes for example um, blah blah association Mm -hmm. members yeah. uh, will sit here and the other one will sit there and yeah this is this is crazy yeah <laughs> it, we, we have so so many uh, similar similarities yep um comes from um uh, 2000 years yeah ago yeah yeah uh, yeah it's, it's it's real fascinating i always enjoy learning about stuff like that so um but um, where do you see yourself? I know I didn't ask you this before, but in 10 years, where would you hope and where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, um, hope. Yeah, hope. hope. Yeah, we got hope. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this is a hope. Um, COVID will, will be finished. Mm -hmm. We will defeat the COVID yeah, and this is the first hope. Yeah, and um, this is the greatest one. And um, yeah, in ten years, mm, uh, I I hope to to be uh, some projects um, which 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 can change the future of humanity. Yeah. Because yeah, you know, I'm a vegan, and there uh, obviously we'll have climate change crisis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this yeah, this should be uh, give some clue to all of us. Yeah. So we have to uh, we have to create that sort of projects, and yeah. I hope we will have one of them. Yeah. I. I hope, you know, for myself, I, you know, um, you know, I'm, I got my small little company, but I'm hoping, you know, my goal is just to have a 10 man shop. I don't want to be a big company. I don't want to be a big corporation. I just want a 10 man shop, 
you know, providing great service. That's kind of where I want to be. Of course, you know, uh, hopefully all the, you know, COVID will be gone too, but I, you know, diseases come and go constantly. There's no way of stopping it. Um, but one thing I, I know I kind of fear in the future is the uh, uh, food supply. You know, I was watching a video about fish in the ocean and I said, it's, it's going to disappear pretty quick as, as millions of food. I, I think we're, we're eating like 50, no, 100 billion tons of fish a year or something. I'm like, wait a minute it can't grow as fast as we're eating them, you know? And um, yeah. I'm like, man, bro, right. food, I, I feel like the, the fish in the ocean will disappear in 25 years, you know, because we're eating it so fast. Um, and, you know, same thing for cattle and all that stuff. I fear that over time, maybe 50 years that all food will be gone, like, like animals that we eat. And so, like you said, we need to be more focused on crops, <laughs> eating crops, you know? So I grew up in a farm. I grew crops. We had, giant orchards uh we had peaches we had a giant garden you know we lived off we lived off the land majority of the money came from the land so we sold uh watermelons we sold gar- all our bit fruits and vegetables we had chickens and cows so uh yeah i, I grew up on a farm so uh I, I have total respect for farmers you know they're essential <laughs> essential yeah. big time um so uh, uh but uh um but yeah i had a great time um so how do people follow you on social media? If they want to follow you on social media, do you have a um, social media platform they can follow you? Yeah, I'm active in LinkedIn. Okay. Uh, so people can search uh, with my name and surname. Oh, okay. And you can easily find my uh, my profile because there's no one with the same name and surname. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, there's no one in the world. <laughs> I'm the unique one. <laughs> there you go. You, I'm number one. <laughs> I'm the only one. So no, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, but cool. I'll put it here at the bottom of the video where on a LinkedIn link there so that people can follow you and reach out to you. And uh, I'll put your uh, email address if you want to put your email yeah, address sure. on there. Um, and so people can email if they have questions, you know, um, yeah, sure. about your software and the products and then also about Inventor and stuff like that. So but uh, oh yeah, I asked. Like, I guess um, when did you join the Expert Elite program? What year did you get invited in? Yeah, I think uh, it's almost two years ago. Two years, okay. Yeah, uh, two years ago. Um, yeah, I'm happy to be a part of Expert Elite program. The, yeah. So, what do you think about the program so far? I don't know if uh, you didn't get to go to the AU where they have the uh, the Expert Elite Summit. I don't know if you ever got to experience that. Um, no, yeah, it's yet. after AU, um, when everything's sun, uh, it's done, we have our own day for expert elite members and we have, we stick around for an extra day and we have all our classes and, and stuff like that. So it's a, it's kind of our own private AU event Wow, and, and it's pretty cool. cool because we'll, 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 you know, we still meet with Autodesk, uh, program managers, you know, team leaders and stuff like that. We'll break out the breakout rooms and, and then talk to Autodesk uh, um, um, employees and stuff. So it's pretty, really, really, really cool. It's a private little club. And I always found it you know, amazing. We get to now network with other expert elites across the country. So, and you see the kind of the same faces, you start making friends, you know, as so I see the same people like, Hey, you know, it's been a year since we, since we talk, you know, so what, how are things going over there? So uh, uh, AU, uh, the A- Expert Elite Summit is pretty cool. So hopefully you'll get to experience it in 2022 if we're back open and running and go to one of the, the summits. So I don't know if they have the Expert Elite Summits and other AU, like you, you, you got the other seven, six of them, but I know Vegas we have it. I just, did, I wasn't quite sure if they have it at the other AUs, you know, in Europe and in Brazil and so uh, in the UK and Germany. So um, um, do you know, do they have an Expert Elite Summit after AU there? Um, I think um, it was, it was, uh, I was the only one mm-hmm. um, expert elite in a EU uh, Middle East. Oh, wow. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure, but um, that's why um, there, yeah. there was no one to yeah. meet uh, as an expert elite. Yeah. But um, yeah. I hope to 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 experience that. Yeah, um, that it's that, it's, it's that really community. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a really cool uh, group. You know, there's 
I learned some things from other people more advanced than me there. You know, they were expert leads and they've been doing it longer than I have and um, in the product and, and, you know, you, you pick their brains of things you want to learn, you know, so, and, and you just share and collaborate and have that synergy of um, knowledge just passing around. So it's pretty cool. So, yeah, but well, thank you. I'm going to see if I can get your name again. Kavash. Yeah, Kivanj. Kavash. Yeah. Kavash. Yeah. Kavash. So I had a great time interviewing you and I'm going to send you an invite for our next one. The next one is kind of a group setting, you know, so what we talk about, you know, um, and uh, I do have one coming up later on uh, at the end of the year, where it's going to be talking about uh, Inventor, Fusion, um, 3DX Max, a lot of those 3D modeling software. So I'll send you invite, you know, like we did for the Civil. We had 12 expert leads. So this time I want to focus on the three, uh, kind of the architectural you know, programming and 3D modeling aspects and bring those experts in and get their uh, input on the software and training and, and tech support and stuff like that. So, so. Great. Yeah. So, all right. Well, have a great day and I will let you know when it gets posted. Sure. All right. Thanks. I'm so happy to, to meet you. Yeah, it was um, great. I, I hope uh, we meet you uh, in person. Yeah. <laughs> face to face. Yeah. yeah. In, in the future. Yeah. I actually have a goal to eventually start going to these other AUs in other countries. I actually want to do that. It's kind of now in my bucket list. I want to go to all the different AUs. Um, so I think it'd be cool. So, but uh, yeah, well, well, thanks. And I will talk to you soon. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Take right. care.